Did Pam lose seven pounds in seven days? Last Friday night, I did a live video with one of my very good friends, Pam, and she took on the challenge of having protein, greens drink, and fizz stick in a bid to lose seven pounds in seven days before she went on holiday. Did she succeed? Let's just say her first day, she'll be joining us live by the way in a minute. Her first day I got a little WhatsApp saying, oh, I've had a couple of breadsticks. <laughs> <laughs> I knew from that moment there may be trouble ahead. <laughs> well, I knew before that actually. But we'll get, um, we'll get uh, Pam's verdict on it. She has lost weight, by the way, that is the good news. Uh, and this is why I pride myself in giving one-to-one -one coaching, because whatever the problem, I will find you a solution and I will get you success. This is the most important thing. Whatever you want to achieve, I will find a way how to achieve it. I am a professional problem solver, whether it be through don't cooking and make yourself a shake, or whether you have to slave your ass off in that kitchen uh, and make something that is edible for you. Uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, I'm just waiting for Pam to come on and then she will be live with me. Uh, let me just check the settings. As I said, we have got some good news to share. Um, I'm just waiting for her to come on. What I might do is just tag her in this video now so she can see it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, although she works for a fraud department online, she's not actually that very technically savvy, which is which is quite ironic, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, let me just tag her in this video and then she will be able to see it. Uh, hopefully all her apps and things are up to date. Uh, I've just told her I've tagged her in this video. So yes, yeah, so for those of you who didn't know what uh, I am trying to do, um, so it's my plan, it's my lose 30 pounds in 30 days plan, uh, which is protein, the green stick, which is a mixture of uh, fruit and vegetables, um, the gut health stick, which is prebiotic, probiotic, and also digestive enzymes uh, and collagen. So that's a three in one. That's the, to be honest, this is the magic from the whole program. Even if you just take this, uh, you will look and feel amazing. And then just for fun, we add the fizz sticks, which is the uh, caffeine from the green tea, or there is a non-caffeine available, uh, and the B vitamin, so that's what gives you energy. Because this is the biggest problem. People are like, how? How am I gonna live on this and this? This is the secret. This is the real secret. Uh, for those of you who saw me dancing at my workout this morning, uh, live on Facebook, I'd had this earlier and this. This is the magic. Uh, and obviously, as you feel better, uh, I've currently lost another kilo yesterday, so. Woohoo! Um, yes, yeah, so we're still waiting for Pam to come on. Uh, it's not showing me that you're watching, so hopefully, uh, if she is watching, she's going to click the screen so it goes big. It will tell me she's here. And this is where I can add her into the live video. Oh, yes, it's, she says she's watching. Right, so Pam, you will have an invitation now to uh, join in. It should pop up on your screen saying, this is the first time me and Pam have done a live together. I've done a lot of lives with a lot of people. Oh, here she is. I didn't actually know what to do. That's why I was just stood, sat I was, here. And... I was just explaining, this is our first Facebook live together. Is it your first Facebook live ever? Well, no. I do them with you, but yeah, not but you've on... never done one alone, have you? Wow, no. it's not my thing, Joe. Maybe you'll be working for the social media department Maybe. instead. Maybe of... <laughs> yeah. you can tell, tell my boss that you think it's hot that I've got a new <laughs> pound. 
something that I can be better at than the jobs I did for him. Right. Now, before we get into the details, let's talk about the success. I think everybody can see that you have achieved uh, something wonderful because you're looking very svelte. Yeah. So I feel glowing, feel better. Um, so it's been a good week. So how many pounds have you lost in total? So in total, 4.8 pounds. Which in my book is five pounds, by the way. Yeah, so that's it. Let's round it up. Five pounds. Goal was seven. Um, so to be fair, to get to goal, I only need another two pounds, which I can probably do. Yeah. By Sunday, if I really try to don't go wait on Monday, and then I'll just put all that shit back on <laughs> and then I'll do this. <laughs> Right, so let's talk about how you've got rid of these five pounds. So first of all, last week I left you with this very, this is the actual bag that I left you with. Yeah. Uh, lots of green sticks and also some fizz sticks. What happened when you first had this on that Saturday morning, this time last so week? I had it. It was better than the one that you gave me last time, which absolutely tasted like shit. So this one, that you can taste the citrus in it. So I put it in a little green cup, probably the most minimum amount of water I needed to, shot it back, and then needed to have something sweet, but I didn't. So I just just had it, had so a bit this, of water. So this was kind of acceptable, was yeah. it? Okay. Yeah. So that, it's not cool. my, not my go-to, and I have seen that your place now does a tablet form of a similar thing, which yes. that would be so much easier. Literally, literally just yesterday they've launched yeah. a tablet version of this and pam's been asking for that for a long yeah. time so there I'm we go happy to try the tablet version and tell you the difference right next up is the protein coffee so what we recommended was to have it like this basically one scoop yeah. with some hot water how did that go down I really think you should have weighed the bag when before you left it and then weighed it after you took it back off me um so I did do that, and I do think you can taste peas or something in it. Like there is a bit of a weird taste to so it. Andy's right. is, so I think Angie's right, and the rest have lost their taste buds and are lying to you. So anyway, I did the first one. Um, it 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 was okay. I had it. Then the second one, and this bit I didn't tell you, Jade. I did put a bit of coffee into the mix, like real coffee, bit, to make it taste a little bit better. So that did make it taste a bit better. It, it was okay. So I did two. So that day, that was Saturday, I did the greens and then I had one of those, how you said. Then I had a strawberry fizz stick. The strawberry fizz stick, really nice. Wait, I there. Could just have... Wait there, let's just rewind. So how was it hot? Just not nice? No, it had a real weird taste. And when you stir it, it's like there was some, not floating, but you can see it like breaking yeah. up a bit. I don't know if it looked like oil, but not oil. Yeah. So it just looked weird as well. So did you try it cold? No. Okay. I know you told me, but I didn't listen. Okay. But my uh, Aubon associate, Helen, that you know, actually has coffee in it. She has a, a full oh. shot of espresso in it and just, well, you know, it. Would be better. So, you know, that is the only problem, the only slight problem is we're trying to get rid of caffeine and trying to get rid of yeah, caffeine. I don't think I want to get the... rid of caffeine. Like, I do like caffeine. I don't think it actually causes me problems. I'm yeah. all right with it. But the good thing would have been I hadn't added sugar in because I normally have sugar yeah. in my coffee. Yeah, so that is good. Yeah. So what I want to say is, you know, protein powder and protein alternatives are not for everybody. So this is why I wanted to do this video because, you know, some people it works for and some people, you know, they just don't get on with it. So let's talk about the fizz stick. So how did you find that, it? That was easy to drink. Had that with cold water. Um, that was nice. Okay. So two out of the three products I'm happy with. Yeah. However, because she really didn't like the protein, I went to a house on, on Sunday and picked it up and bought it to Morocco here with me. So <laughs> that's that's fine. So you said to, we worked out a little plan together and you said basically you're going to go low carb, get rid of potatoes, bread, pasta, rice, and yeah. just really stick to meat, fish, vegetables, bit of fruit. So how did you get on with that? That was so much easier. So low carbs better than no carbs. So I know I can have a little bit if I really wanted yeah. to. Um, so that worked. 
So the weekend was probably a bit harder because when I did cheat on the Saturday, day one of shakes, I had three breadsticks, five grapes, and then I had KFC with salad. Um, so total letdown. Then I thought I would try again on Sunday, but then the ice cream van came, so I had a Mr. Whippy, and then I had spaghetti bolognese. So I actually still only really started the low carb stuff and the 800 <laughs> from Monday. So from Monday to Friday, I've done all right. <laughs> I actually didn't know what you had on Sunday before I met you. It goes back to Morocco and then I'll tell him the truth when we see each other again. When I literally can't physically get to you, I think this is what you were trying to yeah, achieve. Yeah. But, you know, this is, this is again why I love you. I want to get you on video just to share what you've had this week and what you've achieved. So to have Mr. Whippy, KFC and some breadsticks and lose five pounds, you know, most of my clients would love that. They would really love that diet. Yeah, KFC, I knocked out the chips, had the salad. So yeah. Perfect. When I had a burger, so the rest of the family had burgers made for them and I had mine in a lettuce bun. Yeah. So fine so it's not like i was missing out i didn't have to cook any when i say i didn't um said so he didn't have to cook anything separate for me so it was quite easy to do we had a poke bowl on one of the days so i still had a bit of rice yeah. and stuff that was really good um so i think it's just experiment with different things and you can still do it because i think when i knock something out or i have to stick to the same things that's when i just get bored and then fail yeah mm. And just a word on the carbs there as well, because I did tell you to have a bit of rice. Yeah. You, know, you have to think that rice and potatoes are very natural carbs, yeah. whereas it's the pasta and the bread, which not only bloats you, but obviously are very highly processed the bread as well. out pretty much. How's your digestive system been this week? So, uh, all right, actually. So, yeah, it's been probably better than it normally has. I've still kept the ginger shots if I ever want them. Like, I'll okay. probably wear them. I still hear if you need <laughs> Um, now, and I've still gone sample pack because she's still going to try it just to see if yeah, she likes it. I think she should. I personally think that the, the chocolate and the vanilla are nicer than the coffee right. because the problem is if you like coffee, it's never really going to tick the box no. of coffee, is it? Eat this is the issue. Coffee. Whereas if you like chocolate, the protein powder's got cocoa in, so it's going to tick the box. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sold personally on the coffee. No. Either. So when are you going on holiday? Monday. I'll probably put some pounds on them though, by the way. <laughs> how do you feel? Ready. So clothes look fine. That's my, that was my main thing. I just needed to fit back into the clothes so I don't have to buy a new wardrobe. So perfect. I feel good. And what are you doing this weekend that might uh, I'll, cause I'll issues? I've 70th, which is at a Chinese. So I'll probably put those five pounds no, back on in a day. Won't. You so, won't. To be fair, because I think my stomach shrunk anyway, so I don't want, I feel full. Yeah. So that's what it's helped with. So have some rice, have some lovely meat, have some nice vegetables, just stay away from those crispy pancakes. Okay, and I'm not having them anymore. And they don't have pasta in Chinese anyway, no, no. so that'll be fine. And I'm sure there'll be some sushi lying around somewhere that yeah. you love. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. No. Right, anything else to say? No, I think, I think it's worked well. It was easier than the carnival one as well. Because I didn't have to knock anything yeah. out, so good to go. I'll probably do it again when I'm back. Woohoo! Nice. And I'd love to say I'm missing you, but I'm diet-wise, I'm doing really <laughs> well without you. <laughs> I've decided. I think when I looked at my tracking, every time, and this is going past from the past two years as well, the spike in my weight is when we've been on holiday. Yeah, it really it is. Help me at nine meals in one day, so. <laughs> it's our own fault. Me too. Which is why we didn't go all inclusive yeah. this time, by the way, guys. Right, that's it from me for now. Have a lovely holiday. Enjoy your Chinese tonight. Uh, and I'll see you uh, next month. Thanks. Bye. Bye.